Mr. Zen and Physique, so greatness. Finch G. Swole nerd. Hey. Huh? Huh? That teamwork? Hey, you just might get that promotion, you know. So I want to speak on this peel. Oh shit. Okay, good. So during the time that I was gone, since my son was born, I took a week off, and within that week, beef, freaking beef between Chris. Deep into the night, I watch over the city. I am black man. And Vince. Hey man. Hey. Hi, hi there, good sir. You still look familiar, man. I don't think we met before. What? No, I, I don't think so. Are you sure? Yeah, I have a pretty good memory. Hey, what's your name, man? Well, you look like a man that can keep a secret. <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> Between you and me, Vince Chief, a swole nerd. I knew it, man. I knew you look familiar, man. man. Hey, man. Your secret is safe for me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Started. Like what the heck? Just I was just gone for a week, guys. Like did the peace just did everything just crumble as soon as I left? Like it's crazy. I guess I really was a peacekeeper in the comment section, and then you know. <laughs> I can't believe Chris and Vince. <laughs> My brother. I'll say this though. At first, I when I saw it, I was kind of like, oh. This is nice, this is going to get good. But after a while, it started kicking in and I'm just like, yo, this really, this really sucks. Like, because when I watched, when I started watching POG, they were together, like, they were like best friends and they were making good videos together. And I'm sure everybody knows this when that turn happened in POG, when it just, it just wasn't POG anymore. It pretty much beca became Chris's main channel and then Beast Mode Training Camp was Chris's second channel. There was no sign of Vince. And during that time, you guys remember Kanker Man Mongol? He was like the number one troll in the POG comment section. And that was the first sign, right, of when I realized POG was basically going to shit. Now people want to start blaming Vince and saying he's the reason behind all of this. Everything is Vince's fault. But to be honest, I knew this crap was going to happen. I knew there was going to be a time where Vince was going to come out and just be pissed at everybody. And I do feel like he messed up on taking it out on, on Chris because he kind of did. Because again, Chris did state facts where like, you know, he was the one uploading for like two years. He was the one posting to the channel. And even though Vince and Chris weren't working together, Vince could have did what Chris was doing and uploaded his own videos despite the hate he was getting. But then again, it's easy to say that when you're not really being so hated. Every time Vince uploads a video, he will get so many hate comments, it's ridiculous. And people don't realize how discouraging it is. I even tell you guys, like, yo, if you guys were not continuing to watch my videos, I would have been gone already. If all I was getting was hate, I probably would have been gone, especially since I don't even get a lot of views. For, for Vince, even though he got a lot of hate, he still got a ton of views on his videos. So that's a reason why I said, I was thinking, hey, Vince should have just stuck with it and just got the money then. If, if his haters are going to be his biggest supporters, let it be that then. But then you got to think, do you really just want to do it for the money? Because again, if you're making all, if you're working hard on these videos and people aren't appreciating them, you probably don't even want to do it anymore. I see a lot of YouTubers who have passed a million subs and they still get support and they still leave YouTube. So imagine Vince who's already getting views, but he's getting so much hate on the, on the channel that he basically conceived. Right? Not the name, because Chris is the one who figured out the name Physiques of Greatness. But Vince is the one who really got Chris to get into it. So you can't even just say Vince is worthless. Like, he was a big part of Physiques of Greatness. And I feel like a lot of people don't give him that credit. And of course, the, the comment section is, a, is, is full of a bunch of followers. Once one person hates Vince, then the second person hates Vince. Then ten more people hate Vince. And then everyone else just loves off Chris. I love Chris, I love Vince too, but I just feel like people always feel the need to take sides and then they want to get 
get mad when things don't go the way they want to go. Oh, we missed the old PLG. Oh yeah, y'all say that when Vince and, and Chris are about to break up, right? I'm sure you guys even remember in my Big Natty Daddy video, I said this is one of the reasons why I hate the fitness community. It's just terrible. It's terrible. It's like one of the most unsupportive communities ever. Everybody's just trying to freaking dick measure and see who has the biggest muscles and stuff like no one gives a damn and everyone just puts each other down but then wants to see great things happen within the fitness the fitness industry or the fitness community obviously crap like this is going to happen when people are going to take sides obviously Vince is going to start feeling some type of way and therefore that's part of the reason why he even took it out on Chris a little again he was wrong but still you can't just put all the blame on Vince if Vince was getting a lot more love you guys would have you guys would have seen more Chris and Vince videos and back to Vince being the one to upload videos by himself like Chris was doing. You guys have to remember and he even explained it himself. He is not so comfortable in front of the camera and he even mentioned some 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 things that made sense like how he's not able to record in the gym that he trains at. Y'all saw me go through that crap when I was training doing powerlifting calisthenics which is why I got cut short. It's not an easy thing to deal with. You get it? So therefore his quality sucks and therefore his videos suck more because you guys know Vince is good at making high quality videos. You guys know he's good at recording and editing. So he had to work with what he had. Not to mention he wasn't he wasn't comfortable in front of the camera. You guys know he's not comfortable in front of the camera. He doesn't know how to, to articulate everything he wants to say properly. He has to do a lot of the cuts. I do a lot of cuts too. I don't articulate everything perfectly, but I'm getting a lot better because you see how Chris was always in front of the camera being the main speaker while Vince was behind the scenes? I am by myself doing both sides, so therefore I have to get used to it. Go back to my first video, go back. I'll probably even link it down in the description, the first video where I'm talking. People have when it comes to doing the pull-ups is one, they can't even do the pull-up, and two, they don't use full range of motion. Now, I do not talk like this now, I'm a lot more comfortable. Vince didn't really have that chance to really get into it, if that makes any sense. So to be honest, I'm really not putting the blame on Vince or Chris. I'm really putting all the freaking blame on the fitness community, on the POG community, because you guys are the ones who freaking ruined it. Y'all ruined it. If y'all didn't stop dick riding Vince on, on him not cutting, like seriously, y'all are a bunch of men worrying so much and getting angry over another guy not doing something with their body. Like seriously, seriously. Nothing against gay people. But that has to be some of the most gayest crap I've ever had to see. And the, th the funny thing is too, is that y'all are the first ones, the haters, the trolls, are the first ones to call other people faggots. It's funny, I'm sure a lot of you guys saw that video too, the POG tribute video. Honestly, like when I saw that video, I really wanted the old POG back. I love Chris and he's great doing it by himself, but honestly, Chris and Vince, I just liked their dynamic. It was nice actually seeing, I guess, one guy being more comfortable in front of the camera and the other guy kind of, you know, building or growing in that way with Chris. It sucks seeing them separated. That's why we started watching them in the first place. We started watching Chris when he was with Vince. Even though he's doing his own thing and still can, it will still be nice to see the POG channel continue, continuing to grow, especially since it's approaching 1 million subscribers. Y'all don't have to keep picking sides and then blaming people because at the end of the day, y'all are just gonna keep making it worse and it's not going. It's not gonna get better. You're gonna keep saying, "Oh, Vince, you need to cut. Vince, you're so ugly. Vince, you're not attractive to me. I'm a guy and I'm not gay, but you're just not attractive to me. I, I want you to have muscles. I want you to look like Chris." That's not going to do anything for anybody. But then they want to go in the comment section and say, "I missed the old POG." Y'all are bull. Y'all are on some. Y'all are on something else, man. Seriously. At the end of the day though, I'm just gonna hope that POG does get back together. Uh, I put all the blame on the freaking fitness community, on the POG community. Y'all are pieces of crap. And I'm not talking about the good people, I'm talking about the trolls. Y'all been on the POG videos lately. Y'all see the dislikes, y'all see the number of terrible comments that's being left. Y'all are whack, man. Seriously. It's just terrible. Like, y'all treat him like he's not human. He's human too. So again, like y'all need to chill out or else that's what's gonna happen. You're just gonna fail and then you guys are gonna keep crying about having the old POG back. So again, I don't blame Vince, I don't blame Chris. They brought us great memories, they brought us great videos, they helped a lot of people together. We all know Vince was supposed to be the behind the scenes guy and Chris tried to bring Vince on into, in front of the camera, right? It wasn't his, his, his expertise or his where he was comfortable at, but at least he tried and y'all ridiculed him for that. Seriously. 
disgusting, man. For the fitness community, I wish I wish the majority of you guys were like the, like the people like me and the people at the SOS family. The SOS family is very positive. I wish the SOS family was pretty much like the POG community, but bigger in a way. You get my point? Or the other way around. I wish the POG community was like the SOS family, but bigger. Just supportive and just cool people. So I ho I'll make sure my channel never gets like that. I will ban and block all of them free controls on my channel. But anyway, I'm rambling on. I hope you guys like this video. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Done. Gosh. Oh my gosh.